Hello guys and welcome to part 3 of the Make a Multiplayer VR game series. In the last episode we show you how to grab objects and how to request and release authority, so different avatars can interact with them. In this video we will learn how to create multiple rooms and switch between them. As always we will explain you the norm core documentation and then jump into the code and test our project. The process is very straightforward. If you want to connect to a room, we call the connect method on real time script and add the room name of the room that we want to connect. All clients that share the same app key and connect to the same room name will be connected to the same room instance. Also Normcore allows us to connect to multiple rooms at once. There are different ways of loading a scene in Unity. We can just directly load the wanted scene, which is the easiest way, but it's not a good practice, since your app most likely will lag while loading it depending on its size and your device performance. The second way of loading a scene is async loading which means that the second scene will be prepared in the background and loaded once it's ready to prevent previously mentioned lag. And the third way, if you want to load multiple scenes at once, we have the additive loading. This way the second scenes get loaded without unloading the current one. We are going to show you how to achieve each method with Normcore, but first we have to create two extra scenes, one to test the normal and the async load mode, and another to test the additive load mode. Let's change the name of our sample scene to keep it simple. Then change the room name. And now we can duplicate it to use it for the normal and async mode. Update the room name. Delete what we don't need and make some small changes. Now we can do the same for the additive mode. Here we will need to make another change because when using the additive loading mode, you won't unload the previous scene. Hence, we don't need to spawn a new avatar. We can remove the real time avatar manager and the XR region. Let's save and we are ready to code. Let's create a new script and call it normal scene loader. Here we will need two extra libraries, the one of normal we will need the three same references
with the public method we can change the name and create the coroutine I won't disconnect from the real time because I want to be connected to both rooms at the same time. This part is almost identical as the async scene loader script, so I'm just gonna copy it to save time. The only difference is that we have to put the load scene mode to edit. Because we won't destroy the main scene, we will have two real times in the hierarchy. So now we have to turn the real time into an array and find objects by type. Now we have to check uh, which real time is not connected and connected. So this way we will connect to the new room. Back to the editor, let's set up the scene zero. But first, let's remove the XR Interaction Manager because we don't need it in this scene. We can go to the scene zero, let's changes. And here we will create an empty object, scene load manager. And we will add the three scripts that we just created: the normal mode, async, and additive. So we can fill it with the real time. and the scene index that we want to connect. In normal and async mode, we will connect to the scene one, and the additive to the two. To trigger each one of these loading systems, we got a nice button to press on game. Okay guys, so we have the scene ready and we're gonna go testing one by one from normal async to additive. Okay guys, so hitting the normal loading you will see a really small weight. That's because the scene is super light. For the async mode it will load smoother and it's a better practice. But the scene is the same as before so it will look basically identical. With the additive mode it will look very smooth and the scene load first and then we connect to real time and we can see my friend over there. Awesome guys, and that's it for this tutorial. Today we learn about the room and session of Normcore and how to load scenes simply, asynchronously and additively. In the next video we are going to learn how to create real time models so you will be able to synchronize custom data like colors, vectors, also primitive data types such as floats, integers and much more. If you enjoy this kind of content, please consider subscribing to the channel or leaving us a like. You can find the source code for all the videos in our Patreon. For questions, feel free to join the Discord channel and we will be happy to answer you. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time.